going on guys Atticus here red face gaming and so today I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on my multiplayer uh, SR setup and my warzone SR setup alright guys so we're gonna come over here uh, right now I'm using keyboard and mouse normally I'd be using controller but we gotta send the scuff back to get uh to get fixed one of the sensors died so with that being said alright guys here's here's my two loadouts so well actually I have three loadouts uh, this is my scoped in uh, for those that don't know the SPR 208 is the new marksman rifle that came out with season 6 and it is a beast monster in multiplayer okay even in warzone it's pretty good uh, but in multiplayer hands down beats every sniper man all of them this thing's ADS damage everything beautiful mobility sexy alright so we're gonna come over here so this is my loadout for let's say bigger maps right um, let's take it over here like if we're gonna do ground war we're gonna kick the bolt assembly and put on uh, monolithic right mono just for the simple fact because we want the extra damage range that's for ground war this is for uh, I use this class mostly for maybe for bigger uh, the bigger size maps the ones I don't feel like I'm going to be like rushing crazy hard um, which I'm gonna use the this is the sniper scope for it right the SR the SPR uh, the SPR 26 inch barrel the commando the 338 five round magazine and the Sloan KR 600 feather this is gonna let you rebolt a lot faster to get faster follow-up shots and just you know if you're trying to clear an area real quick so this is my this is my loadout for uh, the bigger maps now for the one that I honestly use the most which is which I rush with like crazy almost on almost all of them every map right is uh, this is this is my setup for this one so same barrel right no scope uh, commando foregrip uh, I switch back and forth between the 338s and the 10 round magazine and I still keep uh, the 600 feather for the the faster follow up shots right the faster rebolt because especially if you're trying to get that quad feed right that clip and then uh, the money maker is the the XRX 208 blitz right ADS sprint to fire I think this is the only thing that gives you sprint to fire anyways but uh, this is strictly multiplayer setup, all right? This thing is disgusting. I'm telling you, everybody's using it, but only some people are good with it, all right? And I love this, all right? I love this gun. We almost got it gold. Um, honestly, we got mount kills and no attachment kills. Once shoot the ship comes out, that's when I'm going to go for the no attachments and then we'll have this gold and then we're probably going to go for obsidian with it because it's such a good sniper guys such a good sniper uh, if you don't have it man get it you gotta get it it's worth it if you're a sniper a quick scoper dude this thing is it's gonna get nerfed I'm gonna call it right now this thing's gonna get nerfed it is too good in multiplayer alright too good rarely hit markers ever okay deadly from the waist up super mobile when it's like this man this gun reminds me of like the locust right from black ops 4 the mobility ADS it's just crazy good guys you gotta use it I promise you you'll love it okay and you just you gotta use it alright these are the loadouts this is the loadout you wanna use for multiplayer mainly okay this one right here the SPR 26 inch barrel commando foregrip 338 five round mags the KR 600 feather rebolt and the, the light 208 blitz on the stock alright that is your multiplayer now my loadout the war zone this is my war zone loadout okay monolithic the SPR 26 tac laser the 338 and uh the whatever 28 mil sniper scope all right this is the version of the sniper scope for this gun it's not gonna say sniper scope this is the sniper scope seven times magnification all right this is my war zone I had the commando foregrip 
over at the tack laser and uh, I just feel like I wasn't hitting as many shots right I switched over to the tack laser and it just makes all in all it makes the difference of the gun okay it makes the difference of the loadout so use this setup for warzone I, run, I pair it with uh, the M4 no stock this is my M4 setup mono M16 uh, maybe the Corvus probably the Corvus I'll switch it over commando 60 round no stock this is my, my M4 setup for uh, warzone and this is multiplayer this is the only setup you need for multiplayer I'm telling you some people tell you to run the XRX 208 Dragoon if that's your style go ahead but I notice even with the 338s I get more hit markers with the Dragoon and all it does is it silences it right gives you like sound suppression it's not as loud and uh, so I guess if you're more of a stealthy type you can go with that but I get more hit markers alright I don't know what it is I just get more hit markers just use the SPR 26 alright it's not like they can see your red dot in multiplayer unless they have a UAV up and get at it guys get cracking we almost got a nuke with this today guys on stream uh, sadly it was only uh, 27 kills out of you know 27 bomb instead of the 30 so we almost got the nuke with the new sniper uh, tomorrow's another day we're gonna try it again if you guys found this tutorial useful, or if you have any questions about attachments and stuff like that, uh, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't, it's free. And I'm going to uh, probably work on a clip tonight for you guys to show you just how good the sniper rifle is if you haven't already witnessed it in multiplayer because it is disgusting. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Sadicus here from Red Face Gaming. Enjoy yourself now.